Hi, do you want to do this? Oh. Uh. I'm gonna show you how. I'm using iFacial Mocap powered by NVIDIA Broadcast from the Microsoft Store. This program tracks your face using NVIDIA's AI and their AR technology in order to try to emulate some sort of a, a face translation onto the avatar. It's kind of like the iPhone face tracking that some VTubers use, except it's running off your PC with NVIDIA graphics card. First, you gotta buy the software, naturally. By the way, all the links are down in the description below to make it easier. Then go install NVIDIA's broadcast. NVIDIA's broadcast is gonna be needed to at least run to make this work, but you don't necessarily need to mess with it. Just go get it installed. Feel free to pause the video at any point if I'm going too fast. Then head over to the NVIDIA Broadcast Download Center, where you will scroll down to the AR section right over here, and you will download the version that's appropriate to your graphics card for the 40 series, the 30 series, or even the 20 series and NVIDIA Quattro RTX. Now, the very few video guides on the software that I found say that you're supposed to restart your PC at this point. I don't know if you have to, I never had to, but if you want to, you can, just in case, but let's move on. Whenever the software is launched, a video broadcast will launch automatically. You don't have to do anything with that. You can just minimize it and put it away. But here is the software, iFacial Mocap. When you launch the software, typically another window will pop up, the Play-Doh Man. This thing here is like a preview of what it's trying to track and what it's trying to see whenever you're using the software. And we'll try to use NVIDIA Broadcast in order to try to emulate what the iPhone tracker is able to do for their facial capture. Now, I know it looks pretty strange to say the least, but this is rather important for us to get it running. Your input is NVIDIA Broadcast. For your output, you can choose anything such as BMC Protocol or run it in Unreal Engine or Unity. The official website for the thing, links down in the description below, has kind of a guide on how to get it working and other things other than like VC face and stuff like that but it's not overly detailed and majority of it is in Japanese so uh, user beware but typically you just click eye facial mocap and you'll be able to track your face like this scroll down just a little bit head over to Nvidia display avatar and then select your webcam this needs to be a lot more complex, but the software developer updated it, so thank you very much for making it way easier to use. Now, before we get to the avatar, I'm gonna show you how to get it running and how to get it capturing, even if your avatar is not prepared for our facial mocap. In order to begin, you will click the connect, which for me says disconnect, to connect over for your PC. Then you open up VC face and go on settings and general settings. Scroll down until you get to the iPhone AR kit receiver, Check that, make sure it's eye facial mocap on, receive facial features on, receive head movement on, receive eye gaze on, receive hybrid audio lip sync on. You can also try using the VMC protocol if you really want to. I never got it working, for some reason mine always breaks, so I just stick with iPhone AR kit tracking receiver. You're probably thinking, all right, cool, I got it set up, it got it working, got it tracking, sort of. How do I get the avatar set up? <laughs> Good luck. To get the avatar fully set up to work with this properly, to make sure that all, all the facial stuff works, will take some patience. So I'll probably take like an afternoon or something on a weekend to get this going. But if you are interested, there are a lot of guides out there on how to get your avatar set up for this. And there are probably other ways to do it, but I found this guide over here that I'll link in the description below on how to do it manually. This guide goes over all the basics, it goes pretty quick, it's not too long, and for the most part it explains you the very basics of how to get it set up for scratch now if you don't have any experience in blender or unity this will take a bit of a while to learn properly so all i can say is good luck i'm not an expert in blender or unity but uh i think i did pretty good there one more thing in the iFacial mocap software if you go to open advanced settings and scroll down you'll see a couple of sliders for all the shape keys you're using such as like left eye right eye if your avatar is ever freaking out at some point or you want to minimize some of the motions and movement for some of the emotes that you don't or shape keys you can always just go here and limit the weight the minimum the maximum and there's no 100 percent way to get it perfect because i mean it's all depends on how good your tracking is and how good your lighting is but if your avatar is ever freaking out in any way or doing something you don't want it to do you can always just limit to how much it's doing it and to what extent and i have face tracking congratulations go make them silly faces oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is fun